name is Basala and I am the National Recording Secretary. I'm making this video to just to walk you guys through how to uh, report your events this year. Since the website is new, we just want to make sure that you have all the tools necessary to be able to navigate the website. And also, um, if you have any questions or concerns, please be sure to reach out to me at any point. So first, we want to go to the website. Um, so it's going to be CIC, that's not for the org. And there should also be um, a tab on the home page that will be added um, as soon as reporting goes live, just to help you uh, be able to reach it easier. So from here, um, you can see that um, I just had a sample chapter report that I saved here, and we're just going to walk through a new one. And you should just be able to search reports here. And um, also one thing to keep in mind is all chapter presidents are going to be given access to be able to submit reports, um, and they are able to assign other members of their exec board to be able to submit reports as well. So if you're watching this video at some point and you're like, oh no, I haven't, I don't have access to this, just be sure to reach out to your chapter president if you uh, would be able to, if you're able to turn in reports for your chapter. So now we're on the reporting page and you can go ahead and just, you can search any, um, if you started a some kind of report and you were not able to finish it and you saved it you can go ahead and check save submit a report to check the status on reports if you your report got returned um you'll be able to see them here uh and after any report gets returned to you remember you have five days to resubmit it and you can see all your reports that got approved and confirmed and any reports that uh were rejected because they didn't meet the uh, requirements either uh, the initiative requirements or the search challenge requirements. So please be sure to reach uh, to read all the initiative toolkits as well as all the search challenges to its entirety just to make sure that you're able to um, uh, get points for these awesome events that you guys put on for your communities. So you can also see the chapter uh, report types here. So those are going to be uh, chapter meetings, either the initiative events, um, if you're doing anything for the signature, uh, any professional development event, anything like that. If you have any uh, search challenges, they'll either be named in this section as well, or you can go ahead and turn them in um, as other activities if they're not named there. If you're unsure, please reach out to um, the uh, initiative chair that put out the search challenge, or you can always reach out to me as well. And you can view all chapter reports, so you can only view your reports. So for example, if your chapter has multiple people who people who can put in events, you can go ahead and see all the chapter reports for your chapter as well as like all the ones that you have personally put in. Okay, so from here we can go to search and oh this was the sample that I created earlier so we're going to be doing something really similar to that again and so you can just go ahead and um, click new reports. So bear in mind this is a page that's going to show you all the um, all the reports that you've put in, uh, what the status is. So this one says saved because it wasn't submitted. Uh, if you submitted any reports, it will say submitted. And if it was um, approved and confirmed, you see that as well. And if it was rejected or uh, returned, you're gonna be able to see that as well. So new report. So we're going to assume that our chapter, our uh, chapter report here is going to be for operation immunization. You want to go ahead and put that in there. Um, bear in mind, if it's an initiative event, you want to be sure to, you know, obviously give it that title. But if it's a search challenge, you want to find the title of the search challenge uh, and put that in there. So say our is a vaccine drive. And we did this about a week ago. It was located, I'm uh, a fourth year at UGA, so that is <laughs> my go-to for location. And you wanna go ahead and include any description of your of the activity that you put together. So for a vaccine uh, drive, you wanna include you know, what the purpose was, which is obviously to provide vaccines to a member of your community. You wanna include um, how the event went, any positives, any not so positives, um, any areas of improvement, just anything like that. Anything that you want us to know about the event, how much of a success the event was, how amazing um, it was for you guys to put out this event for your community. Go ahead and put it there. You want to make sure it's as descriptive as possible. We want to feel like we were at this event with you guys. Um, and uh, just make sure that you put that all in there. And if we have any questions or we need clarification, we will reach out to you, but just try to make it as descriptive as possible. We all wanna feel like we um, were with you as we were putting this amazing event together. 
Okay, so you want to go ahead and include the materials you use. So say, for example, you had a trifold there that had a sign of, you know, the vaccine location. Say you had some flyers um, there, if you had the actual <laughs> vaccine, anything like that, you want to go ahead and include them here. Um, and if you had, you know, if you had to electronically check people in for the vaccine drive, you can just say, you know, you had a couple computers as well, just anything like that. And then you want to include how many students participated in your event. So how many of your chapter members came out to this event and actually put this together? So, so you're having a vaccine drive. So you had maybe 12 members. Uh, you want to include both the members who gave the vaccine and both the members who checked in people. Um, to get the vaccine, just any any of your um, chapter members who were um, who came together to make sure that this event was a success. Then you want to add your audience or your patients. So for a vaccine, obviously you're going to have patients. So let's say you gave 50 vaccines that day, you want to go ahead and include them. Um, say for example, you're having a virtual event, you know, some kind of a guest speaker or some kind of a professional development. Um, event, you want to go ahead and you know count the amount of people who were particip who uh, were participants on the Zoom link or whatever platform that you choose, and then you can go ahead and include them there. And you want to say you want to answer the question if you served uh, an underserved population. So we'll say yes. And what patient or audience characteristics you were able to engage with. So I'm just gonna click all of them because in my head my fake vaccine drive here. Um, definitely reached everybody <laughs> and um, you can go ahead and have pictures so I think for um, the different initiative events please be sure to re read the toolkits again um, just to make sure that you're including the amount of pictures I'm pretty sure for most of them they want you to include three pictures um, so just be sure to read them making sure that you know you're meeting this um, you're meeting the requirements that they have listed for search challenges it will also tell you how many pictures um, the different initiative chairs or uh, regional facilitators want you to include. So just be sure to read that and make sure that you're able to attach those. And any um, events that are patient, uh, like in-person patient events, just be sure to uh, make sure you're taking pictures that protect your patient's privacy. We don't want any full headshots of your patient. Um, as much as, you know, we would have loved to meet them too. I think we have to protect our patients. That's really important. And, um, we don't want to take any pictures of their ID or any paper uh, on the table that they have signed with their name or something like that. Just make sure that that's all out of the picture frame that's blurred out um, before you go ahead and attach it. So you can uh, just add a short description here saying, oh, this was a picture of a patient getting a vaccine. Um, definitely use a full sentence in that area, but um, just a short description of what I'm looking at, what we're all looking at in this picture would be great. And then you can add another picture and another picture. Just make sure that you meet the requirements listed. Um, if you're taking any screenshots of any Zoom links or anything like that, please be sure to include like a screenshot of the number of participants. Um, we can boldly see like, oh, participants 30, you know, or we can see how many participants are or actually in attendance at the meeting if you want to. Um, take a screenshot of all the participants as well. That would be great. Of your guest speaker, um, at any events that are virtual, um, just so we can see them as well. That would be awesome. And you can, after looking at everything, making sure everything looks right to you, uh, you can go ahead and save your um, your uh, event. You can reread it. It's gonna have. It's gonna populate uh, pretty much everything you just listed and said here. Just making sure that you have everything that you need here and also um, as soon as we go live there will be a button to actually submit the report um, that's not shown here because we are not live yet so you guys are not able to submit events here but it will it will be there I promise um so just be sure to after you've already read everything and you're sure everything looks good you want to go ahead and submit the reports and after that you can go again to your reporting page you can take a look um, at your saved, submitted, returned, resubmitted, approved, and everything. And you can search your reports to see um, what needs to be done. If everything's been approved, you could also you also see you know what number of points you have as the year goes on. And again, like I said, if you have any questions or any concerns, please be sure to reach out to me. I think if you are you're also going to be able to um, access this uh, reporting page from the SNAFRA homepage. So um, that's gonna be that's gonna be a 
top tab that's going to be there as soon as um, CIC reporting goes live as well. So we didn't want to include it before we went live just so we're not confusing you guys. Um, so as soon as we go live, that's going to be a tab on the home page. So again, this is my email. If you have any questions or concerns, be sure to reach out to me. Thank you. Bye-bye.